this year I've turned into a fashionista. It's true. I love sorting through my clothes and throwing away stuff. You know how when you sometimes you just want a new start and you just want to throw everything away in your room so that you can just redecorate it and just have it all new things? That's me. Like once a month. So, my clothes. Instead of getting rid of most of them, what I will do is I will cut them, tear them, reshape them, and make them into new clothes that I actually wear and love, and I'm surprised myself, but like, I get really proud of myself. It's like a little project and I'm like, oh my god, no one else has this and it's so fun to do. So, I'm going to show you maybe one or two examples, I don't know. <laughs> of what you can do to clothes that you're going to throw away or don't like to make them excuse you <laughs> to make them into things that you want to keep in and just think before you throw away all right here you go <laughs> hopefully the camera knows how to focus back here but this is our first patient she is a very pretty red and white plaid fitted dress. She's very in right now, but I personally don't wear these kinds of dresses very often. I used to, but I kind of want to change this up a little bit to something that I might wear more often. Um, let me give you a closer look. So as you can see, she's very short, and she looks the same on the other side. See? That's basically it. Alright, so you probably can't see this little pin right here, but it's right there, and I would usually use this if there wasn't already a seam, but there is. Oh. Katja! Haha. <laughs> This line right here, we're gonna cut it. So, what I usually like to do is make a little snip, like that. Hopefully, it's focusing. Um, and then I just cut. And usually, I do this on a flat surface, so I lay it on top of my bed or my desk, and then I'll cut. But since we already have a line, it's pretty easy. Alright, I've run into a little bit of a problem. I forgot that the back had a zipper. So, the only options I have right now are to either leave it like this where it'll still be a dress, but the midriff will show, which is kind of the look I'm going for, but I really wanted to have two pieces of clothing. Um, so, the only option for me is to either cut in between the zipper and have the zipper stay on the top, and zip the top up and down, and then I'll try to squeeze into the skirt, or we just use the zipper for the skirt and then the top is kind of left alone until I learn how to sew. I think I'm going to try to go for the squeeze into the skirt. So I just cut the zipper in half. Oh my gosh. I wish I sh showed you guys that. I'm going to show you guys Because that was satisfying to be honest. So I just cut right here and this is where the zipper is and then this is where the zipper ends. That way if I'm careful enough I can keep the zipper on the top and then try to fit into the bottom somehow. But this is what it looks like separately. I ran into a little bit of a problem. 
before trying it on. The zipper completely came off and that was to be expected. So I had to improvise and I cut off some fabric from the top and the bottom of the back to make a thin strip. And then I used these Velcro adhesives to put on the back so that there would be something that could keep the two pieces together when you want to remove the top or put it back on. Um, I had these from past projects and they worked out perfectly. This is the top in action. I think it's adorable and I love it so much more than the plain old dress together and it worked out perfectly. This is the skirt in action with one of my favorite tops. I had to use the Velcro for the back of the skirt too because of course without the zipper the two pieces fell apart um, but the Velcro came in hand and helped out a lot. This is also something else that I made. These used to be like long 90 shorts and I cut them so that they're very cute high-waisted denim shorts. Now. Here is just a couple of other things I have made myself. This is a tank top with little bows on the tops of the sleeves. Um, I think this is adorable because it was just an old tank top that I was never using. So, decided to make that. And then this. I wear this a lot actually. Um, this, if I can find a picture, I will present it. But this was so different than it seems. There is a tie in the back that I like to tie around the front. Um, I'll show you guys a picture of what it looks like in action. But yeah, it's just a really, really cute white skirt with buttons and a tie. Um, but these ties actually used to come all the way up here and they used to be kind of like, sorry, I ran out of storage, but anyway, yeah. This used to be like a suspender type of thing, um, it was like a really long dress, I don't know, it was interesting, but I got it from a friend and then I decided to switch it up. Usually everything that I get from friends I kind of switch up. If I see potential, I take. Um, including that plaid dress that we just dismantled and improved, if I do say so myself. That was for a friend as well. Alright, so the last thing I did for these new items is I hot glued the um, Velcro on because sometimes when you pull it apart, one of them will come off and that's not good so I hot glued them together so that those will not be coming off um, I also kind of okay I hot glued it to the wrong place alright well it still works so that's fine <laughs> but I hot glued it to the wrong place Whatever. Um. I also hot glued the seams together. Now, this is because I don't know how to sew. <laughs> so, <laughs> get it? No pun intended, but so. If you are a total amateur like I am, and you don't know how to sew, which I will learn eventually, these are some options for you to personalize your style. So I also, I'm going to hot glue these two parts together, which you would usually sew together. Um, and then I did hot glue the Velcro on these two. Something else that I love about doing these kinds of things is that you always get extra fabric left over and you can either throw it away or you can use it for something else. And what, one of the things I love to use it for is hair accessories. If they're long enough, I'll tie it in a bow on top of my head. But in this case, for instance, this fabric, literally not symmetrical, not cut evenly, nothing. But when I tie it, 
in my hair. It instantly is adorable, in my opinion. I think it's so cute, and I, I do this all of the time. And it makes me so happy when people comment on them, especially like when I was working the other day, these ladies came through the drive-thru, and they were like, oh, what's that headband? Like, where'd you get that headband from? And I was like, this is a piece of an old shirt <laughs> that I cut up. And then she was like, oh, well, it looks really good. And I was like, thanks. And that makes me so happy because it's literally a piece of fabric in my hair. But it just really adds to whatever look you're trying to go for. Um, and this is from a top that, I don't know probably from like middle school or something because I was pretty adventurous with the colors as you can see but I really love using this specifically because it is very colorful and if you're wearing just a casual outfit adding this is the pop of color that you never knew you needed and then you can cut off larger pieces of fabric and do that whole headband thing that I said or even if you have a bun in do a little bow I love doing that so that's just another little add-on tip So I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope I've inspired you to make your own little clothing line for your closet and um, yeah. If you do take any of my tips into consideration or anything and you change up your clothes, please show me pictures. I would love to see them. Um, post them on like Twitter or Instagram or even just like send me them if you, you know me just send me them because like I would love to see those because those are so like that would be so cool I hope you enjoyed this and 